Hey there and welcome uh, to another episode of Sinu. Today we are going to be covering quite a bit of ground actually. Um, we're going to be working on the island that we left somewhat undetailed in the previous episode. Uh, I do apologize for not uh, having a video last week, I just didn't have time and also I wasn't very you know highly motivated to to get an episode out last weekend but uh, yeah this is it. This is uh, the one. In fact this uh, and I'm sorry to say, it will be the last episode of the year uh, because, uh, well, I'm out for the holidays <laughs> and and I always hated when I was a kid the fact that uh, I always hated holidays in general because everything sort of slows down and stops uh, during holidays. So, you know, like TV shows will like go and hate us for a little while and I guess I'm doing it right now myself as I'm, you know, like I said, traveling uh to visit my family for the holidays. Uh, I will be back uh, first couple weeks of January, so it won't be that long of a gap. And uh, in case you're interested, there's actually a whole bunch of videos that I already pre-recorded. Uh, most of them are GeoGuessr ones, so you probably are not that much interested in those if you're watching exclusively this series. Uh, there's also another On The Road that I recorded back in uh, June in, uh, in the UK. But uh, as far as City Skylines goes, this uh, will be the last episode. And uh, there is a possibility that uh, the next episode of Sinu may not happen on my channel. I've been uh, talking to Flux lately, and um, we're trying to, like, I, I know I mentioned this before, but we're trying to uh, coordinate schedules so that um, maybe he'll be the one doing uh, the next episode of Sinu at some point in early January, but uh, I'll keep you posted on social media about that. Uh, make sure to follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you want to be notified of that. And, um, you know, if not, just subscribe to his channel, pay attention to his feed, and uh, maybe something will come out from that. Now, um, before I also get into the uh, nitty-gritty of this episode, um, actually, no, that's pretty much everything I needed to say as far as I, I can tell. Uh, for some reason, uh, Photoshop decided to update now, but you probably didn't hear that, so I'm going to move on. Um, I'm getting distracted for no reason. Uh, one of the things that I uh, changed uh, in between the last episode and this one that I don't know if you will notice, um, it's a very subtle change, but uh, I've since started using Ronix's uh, Relight mod which uh, I actually kind of recommend because um, I, I was able to tweak a few uh, things of uh, how Sino used to look like. It, it used to be this like hint of yellow, like tint of orange that I was never a huge fan of. And I just simply left it because I, I spent so much time, you know, working on the custom LUT that, uh, you know, at some point I had to like stop and like, okay, I need to go build a city now and, and stop uh, bothering with, with, with this. But uh, um, I was able to tweak some of those uh, imperfections that I never really quite uh, was fond of. <laughs> and uh, I just, it looks, it's so much like nicer, much more realistic, uh, just tinkering with a few variables. So I highly recommend you check it out. It's called Relight. I'm gonna include the link in the description if I remember. If not, you can search it on uh, the Steam Workshop. And uh, for the most part, you're gonna see, if you watch the whole, you know, this whole episode at the very end, the last clip before the, you know, the outro, uh, there's some night shots and the night shots look significantly better, like way more than uh, these uh, daytime shots that you're looking at right now. But uh, what I'm doing here, by the way, is um, I'm taking a different approach to this tiny little islands. Obviously these are, on. You know, there's no one living in in, in this uh, in these islands, so it's mostly going to be uh, a bit of a jungle type of uh, landscape. Uh, and what I'm doing is pretty much what I've been doing for the last twenty something episodes, pretty much the whole series. Uh, I'm I'm working on just adding a whole bunch of uh, different trees to form different textures. And as always, I'm using uh, you know my quote unquote cluster technique. I should probably uh, trademark that. Um, but yeah, I mean, just trying to combine like different, the different shades of green for the most part. And on the visible areas next to the shoreline, I'm using these uh, leafy bushes that just look fantastic. And uh, since uh, those uh, don't really, you know, the trees don't uh, impact on uh, the prop lines, uh, sorry, on the prop lines, on the prop count, um, I'm, I'm just going crazy with it. In fact, this episode, um, 
Well, you know what? I'm not going get, to get ahead of myself as I usually do. I'm going to talk about that when the time comes. Uh, I am going to say, though, that um, we're getting close to uh, the one-year anniversary of this project. Can you believe it? it's been a year? Actually, I mean, it's, we're still a little bit far away from that date. Not by a lot, but uh, we are somewhat close, uh, uh, you know, anyways. Uh, I think uh, the first episode, actually, you know what? I'm going to check this right now. I don't want to, I don't want to not uh, get the exact information. And in case you didn't know, I don't know many of the facts from my own series. Probably you know more than me. But Sinu uh, started at some point in February. I'm trying to find the playlist. Uh, where is this playlist? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to search Sinu episode one, like right like that. Perfect. So this was nine months ago at the time of this uh, recording. And uh, yeah, this was posted on February 18th, 2017. My goal is, I mean, we're not far from finishing this project, but uh, my goal is to, to get this one completed before the one year anniversary. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one of them is that, well, for technical reasons, uh, it's one of the big one. Uh, you know, the, the fact that I can't use props anymore. Um, I know I've been talking about this for like several episodes now, but I made the decision of not getting, uh, you know, the unlimited prop mod thingy. I'm not going to get that. I've been getting a lot of comments from uh, from other, you know, City Skylines players and YouTubers. Uh, for example, I, I was talking to uh, $2.20 the other day, and he's like, don't, don't get it. it. It will, like, ruin your game, uh, or it will make things uh, much more unusable. So... Since we're somewhat close to getting this project wrapped up, uh, obviously not to the scale that I originally wanted to, but uh, to the scale that I'm comfortable, you know, putting an end to it. And by the way, we're still several episodes, you know, away. This is not finishing right now, just so you know. Um, but uh, you know, this episode in particular was uh, was a little bit harder to do because of that. There's so many things that I wanted to detail, but at the same time, since uh, Flux uh, is taking over. Uh, maybe before me or maybe after I come back and do a couple episodes, I wanted to leave him with enough flexibility so that he can be a bit more creative uh, and not be limited by the number of props. So, um, again, I got ahead of myself, but in a moment you're going to see me just, uh, you know, optimize the prop count a little bit. Now, before I do that, uh, let me describe what I'm doing on the screen right now. Uh, obviously, this is another island that has a dock, as you can see. And uh, this dock is pretty wide open. For the most part, all these docks have a similar design. So what I'm doing there is I'm putting down another uh, passenger ferry terminal that's connected to the airport and is connected to, well, pretty much all the other islands as well. So uh, that hopefully... I haven't really had time to check uh, how the uh, whole area was impacted by by that uh, connection. You know, meaning if there's less traffic on the roads or and whatnot. I'm, I'm sure it helps because there is people who ride those uh, boats. I think they're a slightly faster way of uh, moving around uh, the the atoll, but I'm not entirely sure because I haven't tested and done you know proper research on the matter. Uh, going back to my original subject that I totally like switch uh, topics there. Uh, the reasons uh, that I wanted to sort of start wrapping this up uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, another reason is uh, that, uh, you know, lately, and I talked about this before, I feel like I'm repeating the same designs over and over again. And that is not super fun to watch or, you know, and even more so to, to actually do. So... You know, in this, uh, I, I try to do some unique things for this episode, and I'm, I have a couple of unique things planned for the next couple episodes. But after that, it's just going to be more of these, like, you know, massive, huge neighborhoods that all look exactly the same, that are heavily limited by the number of props. And, you know, it just stops being fun. Uh, I don't, this is not a job for me. Uh, I'm doing this for fun. I really do not make money from this. Um, uh, in fact, I let I make even less money now with uh, with the, the policy of yeah, not really YouTube, but uh, advertisers on on the platform. All that has gone down tremendously. <laughs> That's why I'm maybe you notice I'm a little bit more aggressive when it comes to uh, the merch store and uh, just uh, yeah, 
trying to 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 get uh, a bit more revenue out of the the immense amount of work that I put into each and one of these episodes. Uh, by the way, um, I didn't record the whole the whole thing of me putting uh, trees on this island, so I did a, a bit of a cut and you know this like little. Um, cinematic here in the middle of the episode we're not down by the way we're like halfway there through the episode but i just wanted to you know put this aerial shot in in the middle so that you can see what we just did and how it kind of looks and compares to the islands next to it and now i'm adding sort of the second layer the second coat of trees uh if you will but uh yeah uh talking about inspiration yeah it's 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 a little bit tougher doing the same thing over and over again um it's uh, similar to how I felt at the very end of uh, Cedar Valley too. So lately, I've been getting a lot of questions on uh, what I'm going to be working on next if I have some ideas. So I don't I haven't made it any decisions yet. In fact, um, I'm working on a couple of things that should come out, uh, you know, in the next or in the first couple months of uh, of 2018. Uh, there, I, I am already sitting on some really interesting footage that you're going to love, but I can't say much about that. And I do have uh, some ideas for some builds that um, that I think you're going to really enjoy. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking about more than one project right now. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's another reason why sometimes some of the last couple of weekends I've been... Uh, it's been really t hard for me to, to actually get some videos out because I was working on things that you wouldn't see for months at a time. But it will all make sense uh, later down the road. Don't speculate. Don't bother because I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, I, 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 wanted, I want this to be a surprise. And uh, I think you're going to really enjoy it. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, talking about things that I think you're going to really enjoy. Um, a couple of days ago, uh, early this week, I posted some uh, screenshots, uh, a whole album of like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 screenshots of Sinu from a uh, top-down perspective, very like Google Maps-like. And uh, if you're interested in taking a look at those, because, uh, you know, sometimes the videos happen so fast that you really can't appreciate the details. Uh, so, you know, I posted this uh, little album and you can find the link in the description if you haven't seen it. Um, but, uh, and at the same time, like I said before, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook where I usually post screenshots uh, from Sinu. Uh, in fact, uh, one of the latest things I posted is um, just me, you know, scenes where there were no props, but look, or at least to me, they look pretty detailed. So it's almost as if it's a challenge at this point, not, uh, you know, trying to avoid putting as, as many props as I can. Uh, I mean, obviously, in this case, I'm putting down a fence, but uh, mostly because that area without any props, it just looks incomplete. It looks like uh, there's still work that needs to be done. Talking about work that needs to be done, this whole island, uh, it's not yet finished. It's, pre it's I would say it's like pretty much 80, 85% done, but uh, I'm going to leave some gaps on purpose because uh, there's a... Uh, you know, I just wanted to especially pay attention to some of the areas uh, around this island and, and decorate them a bit more. I just don't want to repeat the same you know, design over and over again, like I said. Um, there's um, there's quite a bit of work to do in this island and in the biggest island of them all. Uh, and, uh, you know, the next couple episodes, I think, are going to be really, really interesting. Uh, every time I posted, uh, sorry, every time I plopped one of these uh, bushes, I would go to the prop counter to see if they do impact, because um, there's some tree assets or some grass clusters from uh, Padelmo, I think, that uh, are actually props. So every time I put something down, I need to make sure that I'm doing, uh, you know, I'm putting the right ones. And, um, you know, I, you know, this technique I kind of, kind of almost forgot, but um, uh, the brushes, the oil, uh, the oil and uh, the ore brushes, uh, I remember customizing those at the beginning of the series, uh, and I haven't used them all that much. I've used them around, you know, just the whole area around the airport a bit, but I haven't uh, really used them to detail other places. So since uh, I can't use decals or I'm trying to not use as many decals, uh, I decided it would be a good idea to to put a few of those uh, uh, or use the brush in certain areas, especially big areas where uh, trees. Uh, I don't want, you know, super dense uh, vegetation or trees. And I think it came out great. It really adds a lot of detail in, to the ground and 
you know, as far as uh, performance impact, there isn't none. So, all right. So this is the part where I was getting ahead of myself and I was, you know, talking about props the whole episode. But what you see on the on the right side of the screen, uh, the yellow number at the bottom of that list is the number of props that I'm using. So what I'm doing is uh, something I mentioned a couple episodes ago. I'm pretty much selecting the whole area in between uh, these uh, blocks, like the heart of each one of these blocks that is, uh, you know, heavily covered in trees by design, in case you didn't notice, and uh, just deleting the excess of fences that are pretty much unseen there because they're, they're basically invisible. And you're going to see this in detail uh, in the cinematics that are about to come in just a couple of minutes. But um, this uh, allows me to still have neighborhoods that look pretty detailed and realistic, but uh, I'm somewhat doing an optimization here uh, for, uh, you know, so that I can continue working in, in, in future areas uh, or you know, areas of, of this map that I haven't really tackled yet. And as you can see, I pretty much cleared like 1,200 props, give and take. I think it can come back in and, and do a little bit more cleanup, but... Um, if, uh, you know, if myself or Flux uh, gets to uh, you know, work on the next episode, <laughs> at least there's at least some some wiggle room, you know, to to work with. But um, for the most part, um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with uh, how this project is coming out. It's a bummer, the prop thing. I know I keep talking about that. I'm sorry. But it's, it's just a huge bummer, at least to me personally. It's like uh, this arbitrary limitation that I, I can get past. But, uh, you know, limitations are good, and uh, you sometimes, sometimes you just have to be creative to work around them. But, uh, yeah, the music playing in the background is signaling that uh, we're reaching at the end of this episode a little bit shorter than usual. There's a lot of repetitive tasks that I just decided not to uh, bore you with. But uh, yeah, if you if you enjoy this episode as much as I did, please consider giving this video a like. That's very much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel and haven't already, there's a big red button where you can subscribe. That way you're notified immediately after one of my videos comes out. I think the subscription thing is even more complicated now. But yeah, I think that that's all for now. Have a great end of the year, and I'll see you next time.